Hello everyone, welcome back to Mobile Facts Gaming. We are upgrading the computers today and I had to buy a new motherboard because my current motherboard, the MSI V450 Gaming Plus, has decided to throw in a no graphics card detected fault and because of this COVID-19 crap, I cannot do it because it's no more until repair according to the computer store. So, I bought the Gigabyte V450 Gaming X, which is third gen Ryzen ready. Which is what we are going to be installing today, which is a Ryzen 5 3600X. Which is going to be a much needed 12 core 4 thread upgrade with a 4.4 GHz max boost and a 3.8 GHz base clock. Which apparently beats the i7 9700K from Intel, which is a 9th gen overclockable chip. Now please note that all um, AMD chips are mostly overclockable. Um, Let's see, As I will now try and show you the, um, I think it's 169 bucks, and we'll be installing it into the gaming computer. So, let me start pulling apart everything and getting it set up. Okay, so we're going to start disassembling this computer. At the moment we have a GTX 1050 in it with two gigs of... GDDR5 and it's hopefully going to work. We've got one terabyte CEA Barracuda hard drive which is staying in, a 480 gigabyte WD green SS, uh, M.2 SSD, an EVGA 550 watt, um, and it's currently got an AMD A8 9600, gigs of RAM. And yes, that will all be getting removed. Firstly, with the graphics card. I will remove the Wi-Fi card. There's the graphics card. I suggest you don't do it like that. And I'll just um, put all of these. So that front panel. If you guys want to check out my video rebuilding this computer, um, be sure to check it out. Link in an iCloud card up there, no, up in that corner there, and um, yeah, I'll just carry on um, pulling things out, and try and get this dismantled so I can upload the video for Friday the 3rd of April. <sighs> Alright, right, I'm going to put this down. And do some more. Okay, guys, I'm gonna bring the camera out a bit. And yes, I got some boxes over on the table, but I will bring this up and I will move the camera in a bit and possibly give you a bit of height to yourself so you can possibly see what I am doing properly. I <sighs> should not have done this while you were rolling, but. Okay, so, now that you're up like that, we will bring you in, turn around, and zoom you in, so you can see what I'm doing, which is legitimately just opening the gym slits, and pulling them out, one by one. Corsair one. G schools for jaw. Four. Corsair. Vengeance LPX. And then the rip jaws. Four. These ones are rated at 2400. And they're meant for Intel's, but I used them for an AMD build. And then. Of course, the dodgy AF AMD A8 9600. Okay. Which I highly recommend you guys don't buy. Because it's dodge AF. And as you can see, the film press I put on, like, have a look back down there. I well, up in the iCloud before. That was when I rebuilt it, and already, with a new motherboard, it has failed. So, with one of these things, we can 
remove this baby and place it in here. For, oh god knows how long. Well, until I say I want it back. And then I get this trusty Stanley knife and open this. Trusty Stanley. And it's open, yay. And I've got instruction stuff. Just put that in the case. And then I've got the top part. Face wipe. CPU itself. And then. Nothing else in there. And now also the. Um, how do they say it? Um, the Wharf Thermal Solution. I think that's how they say it. Who knows? I don't. This. And that requires me to remove. Hello. Oh, bless me. Uh, it requires me to remove those. You might as well just put that down for now because I don't have anything. So I'll remove those, come back with me putting in the new CPU. And guys, with that, that's the last time you'll ever see this motherboard before the new one comes in. Okay. Okay, guys, so here's the new motherboard. I'll grab it out, of course, with care. Anything important in here. Well, I'll just throw stuff in there, it's just warranty information. Quite no, I won't throw the box out yet. I will open this lovely piece of paper I'm feeling my way around underneath. Open up. Oh, yeah, okay, in this way, I open it up. Hey, guess what? It has got the um, old. Oh, it looks so much better already. Okay, let's remove this while we have the recording. Cause we don't, don't need it anymore. That's right, we can push sort of hard on these other boards, they're fairly strong. But if you're like the Hulk, don't do this. But mind you, the Hulk is the super, the most strong, the strongest person in the entire world, pretty much so. He would smash anything. Because isn't it what he says, Hulk smash? Yeah, well. And then, if my hand stops shaking, we can undo that, and undo this one, undo that one again, take that off, and put that to the side, because we don't need that, and then of course, ooh, ooh, nice and new. Open the Ryzen 5 nice and oh, so carefully. And yes, we'll put that sticker on the front of the case this time. Do we? Oh, well, we might as well not line it up here. But read that, boys and girls. Okay. Hold still. Come on. Okay, whatever. Let's see. Out. Then you might be. Okay, there you go. Okay, never mind. It says Ryzen 5 and it's 2019, so. I'm pretty sure it goes like that. It's sitting flush. Push it down. Nice fit. Now, oh, without having a heart attack, we put that on like that. I'll put it on with that. You're looking because I'm scared. 
and voila, there is the CPU in. Let's open all these up and hopefully put in our 24 gigs of RAM again. And we put the G skills in DIMMs 1 and 2, 1 and 4. We're going to blow my stuff up. Until you hear those clicks is when you can stop pushing it. <sighs> this stuff's recommended at 20, so this is pretty much running the same speeds. This is low profile RAM. Well, that's probably what we had at the store. Oh, boy. Because of this COVID-19 thing, that's why I had to buy a new motherboard, because I didn't really expect accepting warranty repairs. Anything unwarranty has been rejected from their service department, because I couldn't figure out the motherboard issue. Right. Ooh. Ooh. Don't have a heart attack. That's, that's my advice to myself. And advice to all you guys, because then I won't have you watching. Make sure you subscribe, of course. Um, I'll remove all this junk from the case. Now I'll put some of it on the floor. Why not? Some of it can go on my test trolley. And the rest can go into this little boxy thing. Oh, no, can't. Okay, right. Put it back. Okay, awesome. Okay, I will get this installed into the case and come back when I finish. Okay, guys, I'm holding you on the tripod with my hand. There you go, it's in. Oh, man, my back's sore now. And yes, I will be doing it to test now. Oh, after I clear up, of course. Okay, guys, so here it is in all its glory. I will try and do some B roll while I'm talking. So, um, while I'm talking. So now what we have is an A Ryzen 5 9600X, 24 gigs of RAM, 24, 2400 megahertz speed. Not good for Ryzen, but whatever. 550 watt EVGA power supply, TP link, um, Wi Fi card, Seagate Barracuda, 1 terabyte hard drive, 480 gig WD green, uh, M.2 SSD, and a GTX 5 at 1050, and the motherboard is a Gigabyte B450 Gaming X in a deep cool case. Okay, so I'll just connect some cables and we'll get it posting, hopefully. Okay guys, so you haven't seen what happened, the motherboard wasn't working and then I bought a new motherboard and because of the whole COVID-19 thing it all was an issue. They say it's working now, so the Ryzen 3600X is working in the old motherboard and I've got a new motherboard but yeah, so there's some issues and yeah. So it's working, so we have a computer back and hopefully this video will be edited a lot faster. So guys. Um, as always, please like, comment, and subscribe down the bottom. Be sure to follow us on Facebook. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Now, guys, before I run the end thank yous, I thought I should do the Cinebench R20 run. So let's see what this CPU can get. Face your hundred X, run. Place your bets down below. How fast do you reckon it will go? It's already faster. You can hear the fan spinning up. Wow, this is actually so much faster. I got 608 for the best score I had before. So yeah, I can feel the airflow in the fans coming out. Almost finished. I'm reckoning it will be at least as good as nice 7700K. You can see it's number seven. Wow, this is fast for this computer at least. Mm.
I'm not going to monitor temperatures, but... Wow. I will do it again after this, just to be sure the scores are accurate. So guys, after re making it a whole new computer pretty much, this is the final test for it. Before I go back down, and there you go. It even beats the Ryzen 7 1700X 8 core 16 threads. So there you go guys, with a score of 3654, we smashed the score of 608. Now I'm going to get tasked, there you go, there it is, 602. That's what we used to run. That was this computer at one stage, 4 core, 4 thread, only with, um, yeah, here we go, 4 point. Okay, so we'll press run and then we'll get task manager up. So it's drift boost to 4.4 gigahertz. No, it isn't, okay. Oh well. Who cares? As long as it works hard. That's all I'm worried about. A lovely PC now, and yes, this is third gen Ryzen. And at the moment, it's retailing for $415, but when I bought it, it was $379. And this is day three of rebuilding this because of all the issues I had. But hey, we're going at 4.07 gigahertz max was on the old computer, was only. 3.39 gigahertz. And look, in about the 30 seconds I was talking, it's almost finished. Hey, and look, we even have 24 views of RAM now. Hmm. Hey, I'll post a link down to the in the description of the um, original rebuild of this computer. Yes, I built this, rebuilt this about two months ago. So be sure to give that a check out. The uh, link is in the iCloud. Thing. And there you go. 3,633 points. So pretty much the same. Okay, guys, that's wrapping up the video uh, for this part of it, at least. But uh, yeah, now roll the end credits right now.